Hello everyone, and welcome to Gaming on Linux Guide. This is Gadget Guy. Today I have for you a wonderful sequel to one of the best roguelikes out there, which is which is called ADOM, which is currently on Steam. So this sequel is currently in early access, and I can't wait to show it to you. It is a naturally running native game. Oops, I didn't set my main screen as the primary screen. So it's over there, on my other screen. Here we go. Okay. Nope. Okay, still over there. I'll make it a <laughs> window and bring it over. Hmm, okay. So, here we go. I don't want it full screen, and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. There we go. It's a little loud. Here, I'll turn it down for you guys. Okay, so... Oh, there we go. Now you couldn't hear it before. Alright, I'm going to turn it down a little bit because it's hurting my ears. Okay, so... Let's make a custom character. I think I picked a weird <laughs> resolution, but that should be fine. All right, here we go. So we've got a faction to choose from. Interesting. Oh, there's some. Okay, so let's see. We got uh, evil wizards. Kind of looks like paladin kind of guys. Vikings. <laughs> Always got to have your Vikings. Uh, vampires, dwarves. Um, <laughs> Cthulhu. Clowns? Nothing. Okay, so I'm probably not going to go with the clowns. Um, I kind of like the paladin guy. Looks fun. Alright, and it seems like different kinds of genders give you different bonuses. Uh, let's see. Some strength. Toughness and willpower. I feel like a paladin needs toughness and willpower. Uh, so I guess I'll go with that one. And let's see. High elf for generate hit points. Generate hit... Okay, so I really... Okay, I think I'm going to pick Mountain Dwarf because they are a really strong, like, up-in-your-face class. And a fighter, I guess. That seems like something that would turn into a paladin. Okay, let's see. Heavy body armor. Reduced encumbrance. I kind of like this menu. Uh, how do I put points in? Please select your skills. Okay. Available armor skills 2. Okay. Can I, maybe I can't put armor skills in yet. Curing domain. This seems something very paladin-y. Okay, I'm going to put... Oh, okay. So I'm going to put in there. So I guess if I... Oh, I see. They're like perks? You can pick one or the other? Stop bleeding, cure wounds. Okay. Alright, I get it now. Uh, deflect critical hits. Uh, lowers encumbrance. I'm going to stick that one for now. And then improve protection. And that is done with the body armor. Okay. I feel like athletics are important for a dwarf. Let's see. Toughness. This is dexterity. Dodge value. Okay, dodge value, I guess. So we can't get hit well in super tough armor. Okay, and now we're going to go for a sword and board kind of look. So I need... Short blades? That seems right. Cause bleeding. More accuracy. Okay, bleeding is important. And then, where is shields? Okay. So, parry with shields. Very good. And then, uh, holding a shield will cause some blows to deflect. Or missiles. Okay, I'm just going to go with not getting hit in melee. Because I'm planning on going melee. So, next up is going to be... Br I'm going to name him Brobnar. Bobnar. Because <laughs> i got to name him Bob. All right. 
Eating corpses is fun. You know, I'm not so sure about that one. I guess it depends who you are. Uh, Purge of Corruption. Okay. I like the UI. I see a Chaos Runes. If I remember correctly, those are not implemented yet. Those are going to be a future endeavor. Okay, I like the UI, but so far, not a lot going on. So if I stand here, do I regenerate health faster? Okay, let's see here. Action menu, cast a spell, jump. Guess I can jump there. Okay, game log. Bobnar. Auto explore. I found water. Okay. Oh, enemies. Okay. Wait, am, am I holding two shields? Uh, I think I am. So I'm actually going to change that. Iron chain mail, iron splint mail. It's plus six armor. Minus protection. Okay, I need a... Let's see. 1d23. 1d23. Says extra hacking. I know one thing about this game is that you're supposed to eventually be able to stick more arms on your person, so that's why it says no spare body parts. Because uh, I do not have a spare arm when fighting wooden targets. And this one is piercing damage. Three runes, three runes. Alright, I'm going to wear the iron battle axe. Alright, here we go. Let's fight some goblins. Okay, how do I fight this guy? Okay, whoa! Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, that wasn't quite what I was expecting. <gasps> Whoa! Um. Whoa! That was a lot of damage. Let's see, I should be able to cure wounds myself. Okay. Let me turn it down a little bit more, because for some reason the game sound is super loud. Uh... Turn it down a little bit. There we go. About 80%. Okay. Um, hmm. So this is the stuff on the ground. I have a sling. Some rocks. Do I have shoes? I do. I have iron boots. None of this seems very useful to me in particular. Uh, oh, a leather cap. That one does seem actually pretty useful. Um... Uh, Long sword. That one doesn't seem super helpful. So I'll put on a new hat. Cool. Alright, got a hat. Let's do a little bit of auto exploration. Chaos runes again. Again, I don't think they do anything. I'm attacking a mushroom. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. So I think I can. One of the things is that I can smash the candelabra, or I can turn lights out with their new engine. I think that was... Ooh, what's this? Nothing. Watermelon! Can I eat it? I guess not. I'm just going to hold it for now. I don't think it would be very helpful... Oh, no. Acid trap. Secret door! I don't think it would be very awesome to... Um... Let's smash that tombstone. There's nothing here. I don't think... More traps. I don't think it's very comfortable to have a watermelon in my pocket, but again, maybe it's a magical bag of holding. So, let's see. There's a crystal. Smack in the crystal. It exploded. Not kind of what I was expecting. Okay. Alright, got some money. Okay. Ow. Okay, I'm going to try and get rid of this guy. I'm going to back up a little bit because I don't want to face them all. What, what does the melon even do? I guess I just drop it. I don't... seems a bit odd. Maybe I can sell it later on. Okay, so I want to just wait a turn. Close the wooden door. Smash the door. Jump. Maybe I can jump in place. I guess not. Um, okay, well, whatever. I'll just go fight like this. There's the rat. Going to try and get rid of this hobgoblin. One hit. Okay, lucky me. I really didn't want to be two at once, but there we go. Come on. 
man, my accuracy is just so low. There we go. But I do great damage when I get hit, when I actually am able to hit. Okay, sandals, leather armor. Ooh, a spear. Bandit corpse. Um, sure. Knife. Uh, okay, so how do I... I guess I need to probably find, like, a magical table so that I can stick body parts to myself. Because otherwise it seems a little useless. What is this? Shelf. Smash shelf. Smash shelf. Okay. I'm powered. I don't know what that means. Skeleton. First time I've seen one. Pretty. Oh! It's an enemy zoo. Oh. Oh! And I've died. Well, it's as hard as I remember. But it did feel a little bit bare bones, but again, this is early access, so probably if you don't like what you saw, wait a little bit. Otherwise, feel free to pick it up and support these awesome devs. Um, I did get a key to show this off to you. I hope you liked it. Feel free to like and subscribe if you like this. And otherwise, tell me what games you want to see in the description or like any tips and tricks because I've been working on those a little bit more. As always, have an excellent day.